Oh, I've been making progress on the wall. Um, I got the first course all the way over to the stairs on that side. Um, I thought, over here, see the lighter dirt? I thought, oh no! Car. I hit Kalichi. It's gonna be impossible. But, like, it broke up and it packs into the tires really nice. Like, it's a bunch of little bitty rocks all over the place. So it helps really jam the stuff up on the sidewalls. Um, so the first course was all 16 inch, 245, 16s. Um, the green tires. My wife painted them. And then I was like, oh, those are the size that I need. Here, I'll paint you some other ones. So I started the second course, right? And there's some issues. Um, I don't think I got this first one centered. And then the other ones were off a little bit. But, like, the entire wall is going to be curved in. So I think I might have to find smaller tires for the second course. I know I am for this part over here. This is going to be way too tight to try and fit giant 16-inch truck tires in there. So... Um, but step one is I gotta see if I can move these. Um, so when you put the second course down and, and like any course after that, you're supposed to screw the tires down so they don't jump around while you're pounding them. And so, not only that, they're like 300 pounds, so it's gonna be impossible to move them. So, got the saws all. I'm gonna see if I can cut the screws, and then who knows? I'll probably have to take a whole bunch of the dirt out. I don't really want to because I had a big old pile up here, and like it's been a couple weeks since it rained, but it is technically still the rainy season, so. Um, I want to get rid of all the dirt piles as soon as I can. That's why I started the second course without, like, going down the rest of where I want the wall to be. So, yeah, let's see if I can cut these. Hmm. I don't even know where the screw is. Oh my gosh, it's all, like, folded over. Can you see? Tell me where it is. I think I might have to take the dirt out of these tires, which is really disheartening. I got new gloves. My dad was like, here, have some Harbor Freight gloves. They're like three bucks for a six pack. They started tearing that day. The reinforced part didn't, which I'm happy about, but like, yeah, whatever. At least I can hit the button on the phone now. Jamie has a whole video on being cheap versus uh, buying expensive stuff. He's talking about like stainless steel shovels down in like salt water or whatever. This is a good example. I, you know, I got these for free, luckily, but I would pay more next time. Seriously, like, how am I supposed to get a sawzall blade in there? It's all, like, folded over and compressed and... Yeah. It's great for wall structure. I got through and the screws pulled right out. I just had to lift up on the tire. Oh, another thing. Um, you saw me before put cardboard in the first course. I went back and watched some more of the videos and um, apparently you're supposed to put plastic on the first one. We didn't have any plastic, so I'm just gonna keep doing cardboard, but I think it's to keep moisture from coming up from below or just like vapors or whatever. I don't really know, um, but it seems more important Makes sense to me that it'd be more important for like a wall in a house than a retaining wall in a garden. So I'm not too worried about it. Maybe I should be. I don't know. I gotta figure out something to do with these three tires in the second course because I don't have room yet to put them down for the first course of this part of the wall. And they're in the way. So I don't know. Do I stack them up? Do I completely empty them? and have like even more dirt to deal with. I'm really not sure. I'm hoping kind of for the less curved parts I could still use the 16 inch big tires and maybe use smaller tires for the second one. I'm pretty sure if I use like 15 inch for the second course I can also use 15 inch for the third course since it's going to be, you know, exactly over the first course, just like up and back a little. Let's see. Oh, 
Those are all 16 inch. Uh, this is a 15. Two 15, 15? Youngins in the back. Uh, what's this? Where do I see numbers? Oh, there's my hands on them. 14. Too small. Oh, this one. I can do some measuring with this one. That's a big 16. Alright, I'll grab this one. This one. 